ensuring that we provide funding. And I've pledged, and you may have pledged to provide more funding to our schools every single year. But in addition to that is appointing members of the uh, State Board of Education, which is clearly one of the most important um, boards and commissions that exist in state government. Uh, the term of office is eight years, one of the longest terms we have uh, for any position uh, on our boards and commissions across the, the state. So it's a very long term, eight commissioners uh, that provide direction for the hundreds of thousands of young Missourians that are in our K through 12 uh, school system. Uh, and I'm very uh, pleased to announce today uh, that uh, Derek Gambaro has agreed to, uh, to uh, take on this set of responsibilities. He's really willing to serve as a, a member of that very important uh, board. Uh, you all know, know him well. Uh, you know of his active involvement in the neighborhood and in the community, uh, his work on public policy at the statewide level as a member of the Missouri General Assembly, a member that was respected by uh, people on both sides of the aisle. Uh, he's somebody that really can work with Republicans and Democrats and lots of different disparate, disparate interests uh, to try and come up with a consensus and a solution that's in the best interest of the people of Missouri. Um, a number of reasons, things I could continue to say, his involvement in his church and of course his, uh, his great family. Lots of things I could say about him, but uh, perhaps the most important is his commitment to children. He believes that every young Missourian deserves a world-class education, and I believe as a member of the board, uh, he will work very diligently to, uh, to serve and to uh, ensure that that happens and that Missourians receive the sort of education they must have uh, to be competitive in this extraordinarily competitive global economy. So having said that, I'd like to introduce the next uh, uh, member of the State Board of Education and uh, ask him to offer a few comments, then we'd be happy to have any to take any questions. Dario? giving me this opportunity and even considering me for such an important post. But uh, just very simply put, I do share the governor's passion when it comes to educating children here in Missouri. I understand that it is one of the greatest challenges and one of the most important functions that the state of Missouri undertakes. And I look forward to working with him and the legislature and the board to improving educational opportunities for all Missourians so that they do have that world-class education that will put Missouri in the front, forefront of educating our children and bringing us just the best people that we can possibly have here in the state of Missouri. Thank you. Any questions? Governor, this is a recess appointment. Um, are you at all concerned about um, getting uh, an endorsement um, for Mr. Gambaro uh, when the uh, General Assembly goes back in session? I think there will be strong support throughout the General Assembly. As I mentioned, uh, many of the, the members uh, serve with Dario in the, the House, and uh, they know him as somebody that can work with people on both sides of the aisle and is willing to put the public good above any sort of a partisan, partisan gain. Uh, so I think there will be strong support. Uh, we've been in touch with uh, the Senator Smith and uh, very hopeful they don't sponsor the, the nomination, but I think that's a decision they don't need to make. Main reason you chose Mr. Kambara? Yeah, I think just his, uh, his passion for ensuring that every child has a world-class education. He, he believes that every child deserves, regardless of where they live, deserves a, a chance in the United States. And a big critical part of that is getting a solid education in our, in our K through 12 system. Mr. Kambara, will you be able to work with Senator Smith to uh, facilitate your, your nomination? Oh, this, and believe me, no. I, I think I know very well the Senator's stance on education, and he, uh, along with the Governor and I, and the Senate and the House, share that same passion. Uh, Senator Smith and I both want the very best for children here in the state, and in particular here in St. Louis, and I think that we'll be able to work together to promote that. Other questions? The, uh, the last nominee was uh, opposed by the teachers union. Will you reach out to the teachers union on your uh, school choice position, and, and, and you know, how will that impact your, your, your chances of, of seeing through the nomination? 
Well, I'll just uh, remind the teachers union when I was in the House, uh, they did give me an award one year for being legislator of the year. I am not, I, I'm a strong advocate of St. Louis City Public Schools. I think my record in the House speaks for that, the legislation that I carry for them. Uh, most importantly, probably the most important piece of legislation was assisting Senator Carter in passing uh, Senate Bill 319, which uh, gave assessment to, to, to the children here in St. Louis and, and it just made accountability for St. Louis City Public Schools. Can you, I'm sorry, I mean, you're not getting on tape at all. <laughs> not sorry. Like, sorry. <laughs> right. Thank you. I'm sorry. Not what I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might add another another reason that I thought this was important is the St. Louis City Schools are at a, a critical point, and uh, I was very proud and pleased to, to ask Rick Sullivan to take on responsibilities as the uh, state member of the Transitional School Board. But uh, the Transitional School Board is still going to need to work closely with the state board. And I think uh, Daryl really believes, brings a lot of credibility. He's somebody that understands St. Louis City, understands St. Louis City uh, problems and challenges. Uh, and will be a great member to, to provide that St. Louis City perspective. As Rick Sullivan and his yet to be announced um, fellow board members move forward with the transitional board. Other questions? What, what is your stance on the uh, state intervention? Are you, are you, did you vote in favor of the state intervention, or where do you stand on that? And, and I really, I, I'm not going to talk about what boards in the, have done in the past. I'm looking to go forward from here. Uh, I'm not going to comment on any, any uh, pending legislation. I know that there have been a petition filed in, in court this week.